Hello YouTubers and welcome to Destination Lego and welcome to my Lego Castle review for set 70404 and this is King's Castle. So I've already completed an unboxing video of this set because it was quite a large set and the link down to that video is in the description to this video so if you want to see the instructions and the actual box itself go and take a look very quickly like i said this set is 70404 it's king's castle it was released in 2013 so it's now discontinued um, but at the time of recording this video you can still pick this up in certain stores and in certain places online it comes with a piece count of 996 pieces has seven minifigures and it retail in the UK for £79.99, that was from the Lego store, or for $99.99 in the USA. So as you can see in front, this is made up of the castle itself. Um, you then obviously have um, some king soldiers, but then attacking um, the castle, we have the dragon soldiers um, and a... Fairly large catapult as well, um, which we'll have a look at in a little bit more detail. Um, so let's start off by having a quick look at the minifigures. Okay, so there we get to see the front of the seven minifigures and indeed the horse, which comes with the set. And as I said before, we have the three dragon soldiers um, and then four, including the king himself. Um, from the King's soldier side and then obviously at the far end there the um, horse itself so let's just take a quicker uh, closer look at some of these okay first up from the dragon soldiers there we can see our first soldier he's holding a mace um, next to him our next dragon soldier there he is holding an axe um, next to him and um, we can see there the next dragon soldier which is in his armour is obviously holding a shield and a sword just zoom out a little bit there um, we can see a bit more of him okay then next over to the king's soldiers you can see the king himself there um, holding a gold sword he's obviously got his crown and blue cape next up we have king's soldier with a crossbow and next with a uh, bow um, obviously arrows on his back um, next up next king soldier there um, is our king in his armor with his shield um, and sword um, and then finally there we have our horse again with its armor and um, coat um, on too let's take a look at the rear of these soldiers Okay, and then just quickly moving along the rear of the horse and the soldiers. And of course the king himself, who is just coming into shot there. You can see his cape and his gold crown. Okay, there we go. And then finally I'm just going to give you a side shot. So you can get to see the weapons slightly better. Okay, and there we go, you can get to see, like I said, the side and looking at the weapons, there we get to see that mace, obviously the axe, zoom out there, you can see his sword and shield, into the king, his gold sword, and the crossbow, uh, the bow and arrow, and then again sword and shield and then finally they're back to that horse okay guys so there we go so there you get to see all the minifigures and horse so next up is our battering ram and catapult um, combination vehicle um, here which you can see in front so if we just spin that round show you a few shots or a few angles rather we will see it is a pretty mean looking battering ram and catapult obviously with this dragon's head design um, as part of the battering ram itself 
Um, and then obviously here we can see the main catapult mechanism there um, at the rear. Okay, so if we start with, just zoom in there to the side, you can see here we have the emblem for the dragon soldiers, and this is actually a shield, um, which is just pushed into a modified brick at the side. Um, again, we have the flags there at the top in the red and black, obviously, again, colours of the dragon soldiers. Like I said, there at the front, a pretty mean looking dragon's head there which is the actual battering ram itself. So this is what would be used to push this um, at the doors to obviously gain entry um, to the castle. Um, obviously see it is on wheels, so it does move along quite nicely. Like so. Okay, and then if we actually look at the Catapult itself, we can see there, um, and this is what's fired. So we have one, and there are two others, which we can see there, just uh, two stuck together at the moment. So in total, we have three boulders to be able to launch into the dragon's castle. Now it's quite uh, clever the way the actual mechanism works itself so I'll now try to demonstrate this if we just zoom out there so simply to fire the catapult what we actually do is push the battering ram head in um, so let's try to show that so I'm just going to push this with my thumb now and hopefully you'll see um, the catapult mechanism work so we push yeah and as you see there you see that's now pushed in, if I pull that out, and you can see it moves um, like so. And obviously there is a mechanism in there, um, we can see that move in there, which is going to make the catapult shoot up, so pretty cool. Just do that very quickly again, pull that out, simply put that back in, uh, push the dragon's head, like so. Obviously you need a bit more power and it will go. I'm awkward trying to hold it like this and sh get all the angles in, but... Miss that one again. Apologies, guys. Um, so, again, hold it in there and push. Oh, and there we go. That one certainly did go, as you can probably hear there. Okay, so there you go. There is the battering ram and catapult. Looks pretty mean um, just on its own. So, let's take a look at the main feature, which is obviously the castle itself. So here we go, it is the castle, um, and it is quite a large castle, um, I think it looks awesome myself, it's got some good play features on it for kids, so I'm going to attempt to show you around all of this, but it is a large set, so you're going to have to um, bear with me, um, you can see here, so let's just start by just spinning this round, so you can get to see it from some of the angles, and then you're going to get to start to see the actual depth of the castle itself. It's quite deceiving when you're just looking at the front shot, but it is, like I said, quite large. Um, and because it's quite large and you've got quite a bit of space inside here to put minifigures, um, this is great for creating some army scenes, building that Lego uh, minifigure army and creating some battle scenes, um, obviously with the dragon. So continuing round to Obviously look at the rear of the castle, you see there's a door there at the rear. And continuing round to the other side. Okay, and finally back round to the front. Okay, as you can see we're zoomed in on the drawbridge um, at the moment, because you can as you will see here, there is some string or rope, as it's supposed to be, obviously holding um, the drawbridge, and that can be lifted up and down, and that is actually operated by uh, these here, one that side and one this side. And all we simply do is turn these, 
as you can see me doing very easily there with one finger and you can see hopefully that one that side spinning um, as I'm doing that very very easy um, to operate keep obviously spinning that and the draw bridge will go up to that position there so the draw bridge is now up um, and again obviously to lower it um, just simply um, turn those the opposite way and you can see the draw bridge coming down it does get stuck every now and then but it's no big issue just simply push it down there um, to get it moving but as you can see it works pretty nicely um, the other feature um, in here we actually have the main gate there which hopefully you can see let's just zoom in a little bit more there we go there you get a good shot of that gate now seeing inside the castle so this does actually raise and lower itself so i just when i'm zoomed in show you it raise and lower it just bear me a minute because this is held in place which i'll show you in a second so just do that and you would have seen that fly down then um, but again similar mechanism i can turn the lever to raise the gate like so there we go all the way raised I can close that under control if I want to like that or if I really wanted to you can let go of it and this is slightly different this one will just literally close down like that so you could actually trap one of the poor dragon soldiers um, as they came in I'll just show you how that mechanism actually works Okay, so there's the shot of the King's Castle, and if I um, zoom in, so obviously you can see the top of the main gate there. So this one is actually operated from here, um, or here. Um, there is another one there, so you can see again if I spin that one, that one turns, and that was the one there was for the drawbridge. So let's just turn that round slightly. In fact, let's turn it around all the way like that. So there you can see that mechanism there. And then a the slight difference with this one is, if I do it from the other side. Oh, sorry, wrong one. There we go. Turn that so the gate is now opening, which you might be able to just see actually down there. Yeah, you can see that moving. So when we've got that open, we've actually got this piece here, which you can turn around just put it in that position and that will then hold that in place and obviously stop it from closing so there's a little bit of a locking mechanism there to hold that in place and then if i bring that back around uh, zoom out you can see that the gate is now fully up and opened and held in place so that's the drawbridge and gate now as we're going around obviously you can see numerous features which i'm not going to point everything out on here um, again if I zoom in uh, you can see some of the design features again we've got some shields here which is obviously the emblem for the um, King's soldiers just some great design features those pearl gold cones in there just to add to some of the design the windows um, we have various torches um, as you can see here at the top uh, if I zoom out you can see some more down here um, obviously the very top um, of the King's Castle there, they have the King's Castle colours, the gold and blue. Obviously there is room in here. The other thing to point out, if I just grab the King himself, let's put him there. Uh, decent room um, to obviously put your minifigures as well. So there you can actually see um, the King himself. Let's just raise that up and zoom in. There you get to see the king um, at the top of his castle there so it's a good room um, like I said to fit minifigures um, in the castle as well okay so just moving around the castle now so we go over to the first turret um, over here and you can see there is a catapult um, on the top of this one here and this one's got an interesting mechanism on it which just about see there we have on there this rubberized flexible technic pin there and the reason for that i'm sure you can guess if i pull that back like that you can see that flicks and obviously the main purpose of that you'll see get that out inside here same again we've got our uh, 
boulder which will be fired um, from this obviously with this one we just simply pull back and now you've got obviously the resistance against that rubber technic piece there and let go and absolutely that fires out of the catapult so catapult on the first um, of our turrets there um, just down um, along our walkway here we have some of the spare boulders to be fired from the uh, catapult there so two spares um, to be fired and they just simply slot down um, which you should now be able to see over here there's a little area for those to be kept um, down there so again just following the king's castle around we obviously have walkways um, they go all the way around the castle so again good for placing minifigures on so I will do that as we go around so let's place our archer here on this one okay, we can move them forward a bit I think yeah. so we now have our archer in position on that particular walkway we can see there just zooming into him now uh, reason for this is just to demonstrate the playability there's good space um, within this set to fit our minifigures Okay, so round to um, the rear, nothing else significant on um, that side there to show you, apart from obviously the design. Carries on round to the rear, um, and I pointed out as I was taking you around the castle earlier, there is a door, as we can see there, at the bottom of that, I guess the main central turret at the rear. <coughs> so... There is a door there which we can see can be opened like so um, and again let's just close that and then working up the turret itself <coughs> again you can see some torches there and working up <coughs> the main turret um, and then we get there to the top of that center of that turret and if I spin that round there you can see there is a flame little fire um, in the center of that top turret there again there is room if you want to to put minifigures um, in that turret too if we go round to the side there you can just pick up just bring that down there is a key there and there is a key on the other side too if we spin around just there, so you're looking at here, the door at the rear. Um, if I zoom in, you can see there's a door there with a chest um, in front of it. So the key is to get in to that door because this chest, um, for the playability on this, would be um, actually inside this door. So you would get your key. <laughs> I might have to get to open it now there we go the key would obviously unlock that door and this chest would normally um, be inside there so inside our chest let's get this open we are going to have our gold um, is inside there our gold jewels etc so our king's army task is to get in open that door up get the key get the door up and obviously um, get away with that hidden treasure which is inside there. Um, moving down, which you're probably not going to be able to get from this angle, so what I would do in a second is I would come off the tripod and show you a bit more of the inside details. So back round to the rear. So there you get to see the key on the other side too. Um, and again, let's just carry on going round. So on to our, I guess, our final turret here now. Obviously a smaller one. It's only two levels on at that turret. If we uh, just go down and zoom in. Okay, so there we get to see that. Looking at the top of that turret now. 
The main feature you've got on the top of this turret is a crossbow, a fixed crossbow um, in position there. But again, quite a bit of room there to put um, some mini figures. Um, as you can see in there, you can get, actually get inside that turret there, so you can have some mini figures in there as well. Okay, so finally over to this side of the King's Castle because um, there is a bit of a play feature here um, on this side. Let's just zoom out so you can uh, work out where you are. Okay, so there's the full King's Castle, but let's zoom back in um, to that side there and you'll see something slightly different. You can probably to see it for yourselves now. That one there has got a little um, sort of wooden shutter on that window um, and that wall is actually different the main reason for that is because we would have um, potentially our battering ram um, going round here um, and battering this side of the wall to get in so batter 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 and then eventually boom, 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 it will give way and then obviously our minifigures our dragon's army can obviously storm the castle now um, through that opening which is in there so obviously all we've got there we can see that there there's that piece um, of wall and that just simply slots back in place like so um, and again we can and I'll just show you doing it from this side obviously you wouldn't break out but just to show you so if I was to push from that side you can see there again that falls away um, extremely easy okay so I'm just gonna go off the tripod now and show you some of the inside shots okay here we go apologies for the camera shake but this is probably the best way to do this to show you while the castles all together so that's looking at the rear um, of that main um, entrance there the drawbridge and you can see there the gate held in place uh, moving up there there we can obviously see um, that turret over there was space, um, like I've said before, uh, where you can put minifigures. That there is that obviously flexible um, Technic um, rod there. And there we can get a better look at those spare boulders for the catapult. We work this round and get to see better now some of those walkways. Where you can put the minifigures, like I said, they go all the way round. We can there see steps, obviously going up to the walkways, and we can put minifigures um, at the lower level as well, as you can see there. Um, so the other main function or feature, sorry, you wouldn't have seen because it was difficult to show. We've actually got there the throne um, for the king. So there's the king's throne for him to sit in uh, inside there, in all its glory. Um, again, we have another ladder there, so that will be how our dragon soldier will get up there. Um, obviously, take the um, key there, get into that door where that treasure is now hidden. There we see the fire at the top of that turret. Um, again, moving around to this side, we have a barrel um, just there where some spare weapons can be held. Um, we have that top of that turret there with the crossbow spinning around you can see inside there there's room there for minifigures down here um, we can just see inside there we have an area um, where we can obviously um, lock some prisoners up in there um, these can be opened a bit awkward to show you but they can be opened in there held together obviously with um, chains at the moment um, and again just spinning around we get to see some more of that walkway area kind of back around there we there have a spare um, long axe held there and a spare as you see there long spear and some more torches inside as well so great detail great functionality on this set so I'm just going to kind of show you the final features to this set now okay so the other fantastic feature with this set is it is a modular set in its own um, which means it can be taken Part and put into different formations. So I'm going to attempt to do that now. You may have seen as you were going around, you can almost see some seams, some areas where the castle joins up. So hopefully I can do this without destroying anything. 
Um, as you can see, I've now taken, hopefully you can see that, uh, that piece apart. Um, if we just pull on there, you can see now, you can start to see, that piece has now been separated. Um, it's held together in numerous pieces, so let's take that one off. We have that turret now separated. Uh, if we take this off from here, okay, you can see that from here, and finally from here. So, hopefully, you can now see there everything is obviously in separate pieces so this will if you so wish to enable you to um, obviously put this in some different formations and you could if you wanted to put that there and i don't know that maybe round there and that there and that there and that there something like that um, but basically come up with different options and different formations for it so again this adds that playability which I think um, is great and it helps you to if you so wish um, which I will be doing um, creating your own kind of castle as well because I'll be using some of these making some of them bigger um, but I want to do something similar modular style um, so that we can play around with it but basically create a larger um, castle Okay, so there we go. That's my rather long review of this set. Um, complete apologies for the length of this review, but as you would have seen, there's a lot of detail, a lot of playability, a lot of functions on this set, which is an absolute positive in my opinion. Um, like I said, this is the King's Castle set 70404, and this certainly gets a thumbs up from me. Of great playability, uh, great functions, and a great adaptability um, with obviously the modular function. Um, within the set there to expand this and grow your Lego castle army which is something that I certainly will be doing. So hopefully you did enjoy this review and again apologies for the length of the review. If you did please give it that big thumbs up. Any comments, questions or feedback let me know down in the comment sections to this video. And if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel, Destination Lego. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers!